is my story. I, I teach children theater at a, a, a fancy off-Broadway theater company. And what you learn when you teach children theater at an off-Broadway theater company in Manhattan is you'll encounter three main types of children. And the first type is just an incredibly wealthy child. They, they live in a world that is just so different from where, where I came from and probably where you came from. Um, you know, they say things like, my dad is the vice president of the National Football League. Or, or, or you know, we go to St. Bart's four times a year. And uh, the second type of kid is the star child. And I love these kids because they are either kids of super famous people that are really intimidating when they drop them off or pick them up or they're kids who have uh, careers in the entertainment industry that are better than like yours will ever be. <laughs> they you know, have top-notch representation and they've performed on Broadway in like three different shows. And the third type of kid is what I call the Park Slope kid. They like only wear fair trade clothing and they're like <laughs> very quiet and very zen and they've been doing yoga since they could walk and they're, they're, they're very sweet and they avoid conflict at all times. And um, to, to, to make these three kinds of kids interact, you have to have a special kind of patience working with them. And I, I'm gonna toot my own horn, I, I have that patience. I'm really good. I'm really good at getting them all to coexist and have fun with each other. Uh, I, I'm a pro. At least I thought I was, until I met little Jilly. Now, little Jilly was different from all the other seven-year-olds. Uh, and I was really excited to meet her because I knew she was commuting in from New Jersey. Uh, her grandparents would take her in every weekend into the city to take this class. And I was really excited because I was like, you know, she's from the suburbs. She might be a little more like how I was when I was a kid. Um, and I was excited to hang out with her. Um, and she gets to the class. And she walks into the room and I bend down and I'm like, what's your name? And she looks at me and her little face turns bright red and her little eyes get really big and she starts to tremble and tears just start flowing. And she has a little seven-year-old meltdown. And she cries for about 20 minutes and then her, her grandparents leave and say, don't worry, she does this all the time, she's a crier. <laughs> And little Jilly proceeds to cry for the first like hour and a half of the three hour class. And I went from being really excited about having little Jilly in the class to really dreading her coming every weekend. Uh, and I made it my mission not to indulge her tears, but I was gonna teach her how to be a strong independent woman. This was my new goal. And every time we would try a new game and she'd get nervous and start crying, I would say, Jilly, it's okay. Be strong, strong, independent women, try new things. And every time we would do an art project and she would start to cry because she didn't know where she should put the glitter, I would be like, Jilly, you don't need to cry. Strong, independent women put glitter like wherever they want. <laughs> and Every time we do a writing exercise and she couldn't spell a word and she would start to cry, I would be like, Jilly, it's okay. Sound it out. Strong, independent women always sound it out. <laughs> and it just, you know, it wasn't progressing the way I hoped. But about halfway through the semester, we had my favorite day, which is the game day, which means the teachers are super lazy and we just play all the games we've already taught them. And they just take what they want to play and everyone stays happy because they're picking the games they want to play. Like no one cries on game day. And we're starting to play our first game and everyone's happy and Jilly is standing next to me and she starts crying. And I'm like, Jilly, you know this game. You're a strong, independent woman. Like we got this, stop crying. And she keeps crying and we, I keep ignoring her and she's crying and finally she pulls on my sleeve and I look down and little Jilly is standing in a little puddle. And she had, she had had an accident. Aww. And I have dealt with accidents a lot. When you hang out with like 27 year olds all the time, like accidents happen, <laughs> you know, semi-frequently. Um, but I knew, I knew she couldn't handle the rest of the kids 
knowing about this. She couldn't even handle saying her name most of the time. So I did something I had never done before, which was I took my cup of water that I keep in the classroom and threw it on the ground and said, oh no, I spilled my water. And then I grabbed Jilly, thank you, I grabbed Jilly, took her to the bathroom and cleaned her up. And while I was cleaning her up and she was crying because she'd had an accident, she told me, when I had my accident, I was scared, but you made me feel safe. And my heart broke. And I knew I was gonna fail at my goal of teaching her to be a strong, independent woman. Because <laughs> little Jilly had me wrapped around her finger and every time she cried, I would pick her up and tell her it would be okay. And we finished the class and I, I had failed. And the next semester came around and I knew I wouldn't see Jilly again because she could not handle acting class. Uh, and my new students start arriving and we're, you know, setting up the room and everyone's getting to know each other and down the hall I see little Jilly coming with her grandparents and I see some other kids go up to her and say, what's your name? And she looks at them and she freezes and she starts to shake and her little face turns red and her little eyes get all big and full of tears and then she says, my name is Jilly. And right there, Jilly reminded me of, of a truth about being a strong, independent woman, which is it does not happen overnight. It is a product of progress. And you know, you might be scared and you might want to feel safe and you might have a few accidents, but she is on her way. Thank you. Thank you.